Oh no, I haven't put snowmen in the- Oh my god, what? Oh my god, guys, I neglected Bella Goth and now she died of freezing whilst I was building. I didn't notice. Oh, I'm sorry. Get that fire exit door. I'm off. Say something. Just say testing, one, two, three. What? Say testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Mm. <laughs> can you introduce yourself with me so I feel less nervous? What do you mean? Just, you can put this over your face. <laughs> Just stand there with this over your face. No, thanks. It, then it looks weird there, you need to put it over my face. Ho ho ho, welcome back to my channel. It's Hatch on Sims here and today we're doing another Sims video. Right, get off my face now. <laughs> For today's video, I am going to be Christmasizing the goth family's house. As you may or may not have seen from my previous videos, I do love Christmas, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. By the way, if you do hear any strange noises, it's because my boyfriend is in the background because he wanted to watch me record a video. Do you wanna say hello? Hello guys. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the house, and then I think I'm going to change their outfit. So let's begin with the outside of the house first. Obviously first I'll do the obligatory wreath on the door. Then I guess first I'm just going to go around the whole of the outside of the house with these Christmas lights and put loads of Christmas lights around it. I feel like the goth family would be the least Christmassy people out there, so I probably picked the worst house to do this for. Alright, so first I've just added all these Christmas lights around the outside. I don't really know what look I was going for here, they're a bit messy. But now what I'll do is I'll just put the Seasons trims on there and see how that looks. Alright, so I'm just adding this storage box to the property just so that one of them can interact with it and put the Christmas trims on. Although I don't think we can because it's not winter in game yet. Oh, it's summer. I'm gonna have to Google how I can change the seasons. Alright, I found a cheat. Let's hope it works. Oh, it works. Now back to winter. There we go. We're in winter time. There we go. I'm choosing my Eve decorations, whatever an Eve is. Should I go with the icicles? And then we got to do the fence. I'll go for some snowflakes on the fence. Who is that? Vanessa Zhang. Get lost, I'm doing a build video. F off. Vanessa Zhang. All right, so I just added some of the decoration things from the seasons pack, so that has made it a lot easier, so I don't have to put spandrel um, thingies all around it. I just want to get something that I can put around here so I can hide the lights where I've placed them. Maybe I could just get these stars and put them all around. All right, can I just say putting those little snowflakes all around the edge took way too long. Way longer than I expected, but it's done now. Now I want to hang some more things around the edge, but I don't know what I can use. Maybe I could put some of these like snowflake stickers all around it. Okay, Ooh. so now I've done the snowflakes. I think it looks okay, but I just want to see what it looks like in the snow first. So I'm just going to buy the snow, um, the weather control device, and then I'm going to get one of the people in the family to try and change the weather so I can see what it would look like in the snow. Change current weather, snow. Go on, Bella Goth, do your stuff. Something's gone wrong. The weather was supposed to be snowing. What have I done? Right, nice, it's become snowy. Oh guys, a welcome wagon's here. Everybody go home, I don't want you here. Hello? Just to say, I appreciate, I really appreciate the opportunity. F off. Oh look, as it's coming snowy, it already looks so beautiful. Oh, I love that. All right, now it's snowy. I'm not gonna lie, it does make it a bit harder to see what I'm doing in build mode. Look, there's so much stuff here. I could put this nutcracker here by the door. He's like a guard for the door. There we go, we'll have a purple one and we'll have a green one, there we go. Oh look, I can even put these hanging like Christmas stars from the roof thing here. Oh, that'll look nice, wouldn't it? I've literally just given them the most giant snowman here. And I'm just gonna replace all of their trees with the Christmas trees as well that we got in their holiday pack, which looks amazing. This is my favorite tree in the whole game, actually. I think it's the only tree that lights up. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that, but I think it is. Oh, doesn't that just look so magical in the night time? All right, guys, so I think I'm done with the outside of the property. I may or may not have gone a little bit crazy. I basically just put every single Christmas decoration. Let me just look at it in nighttime in built mode. Now, oh my God, doesn't that look amazing? That looks so Christmassy with the lights and everything in the front door. For Christ's sake, stop moving camera. Stop moving! <laughs> okay, with the front door, I've got all this stuff on there. Oh my God, I love it so much. All right, now it's time to go in for the inside of the property, I think. Now the Goth family have quite a dark, like emo house. So I'm gonna have to try really, really hard to brighten it up here, but I don't wanna move any furniture or anything. I wanna keep everything as is. I just wanna try and make some room for some Christmas stuff. It's official, the dressing gown's going on, it's cold. Now, where can I put the Christmas tree in the living room? Now, I know I said I wouldn't move anything, but 
but I might just remove these plants here just so I can put a couple trees in the room. There we go. And I'll put one tree there and put another tree here because just one tree is not enough. I'm just going to put garlands and everything on every single table. And that fireplace is definitely being placed with the Christmas one. There we go. Bright red Christmassy one. And do you know what? These reindeers just fit perfectly in this little corner over here. All right, guys, as with the outside, I may have gone a little bit crazy in here. Let's just go in first person mode. All right, guys, here is the living room. We've got basically adornments everywhere <laughs> full of Christmas stuff. I can't believe how long this took me and it was literally only one room. Goth is in here. What's his name? Mortimer. Mortimer Goth is in here looking at his new fireplace. He probably hates it. Look at that face. You can tell he hates it. What the fuck? All right, I'm kind of running out of time and I am getting a bit hungry and I will have a McDonald's soon. So I don't think I'm going to do the whole house today. Maybe I'll just make this like an episodic series. Let me just do some other things down here and then I think I'm going to call it a day after that. I'm literally having to save my game every five seconds because I'm just scared it's going to crash with the amount of stuff I've put in here. I think I'm going to remove these pots and give them a couple more Christmas trees out here. Why not? There we go. One hour later. All right, guys, I think I've completed the hallway over here. So again, I've just done lots of trees and lights and things like that everywhere. Some garlands on the table. Other than that, I think we're done in here. Let me just chuck a nutcracker in the corner. Let's, ju let's just chuck a few nutcrackers actually, random different colors. There we go. Again, I may as well have gone a little bit crazy in here. Just put lights and decorations and tacky adornments basically everywhere in this house. Right now, let me just get on with the kitchen area here. Although I don't really know how can we make a Christmas kitchen? Like what could we put in there? Obviously I'll just hang loads of adornments and things like this around it. And I think we can just fit a little Christmas tree over in the corner here. All right, guys, again, I've just gone really, really Christmassy. <gasps> what the hell? All of my wall hangings are gone. Where did they go? Oh, you can only see them if I zoom out. I don't know what happened there. That's an error. Oh, well. Anyway, there's all my wall hangings. Let's get back into first person mode. So yeah, I kind of hit a wall in this room. So I just, you know, put some random garlands and pictures and things. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of running out of motivation. I always hit a stump at this point in a video and I don't know why. But I'm gonna try and push through and at least finish the downstairs today. We only have one room left, which is the bathroom. I can do it. Again, I'm just gonna chuck some random decorations around in here. Would it be weird if I put a Christmas tree in the bathroom? I just want to put a, like a Christmas tree in there. Maybe a white one. That will suit it quite well. No, that's... I can't... Even I can't go that far. Unless I just put more hanging lights in here, as I've done with every single room. Their electric bill is going to be through the roof after doing this. All right, guys, I've completed the bathroom now. As you can see, I did go a little bit crazy again. I don't know why the ceiling of their bathroom is so high. It makes it look kind of lonely. Anyway, so I just put some like snowflakes and lights. But other than that, I don't really know how to do a bathroom so I just left that there anyway guys I think that's it for the downstairs now in my opinion this looks absolutely amazing and I'm really jealous and I wish I could live here too so I think I'm just gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna do the upstairs in a future episode just because it is taking <gasps> oh no I haven't put snowmen in the oh my god what Oh my god, guys, I neglected Bella Goth and now she died of freezing whilst I was building. I didn't notice. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look, the Grim Reaper's coming. He's coming round. Uh, he's slowly making his way around. That's so creepy, actually. Look at him. Ugh. Guys, I literally cannot believe I just killed her by making this a Christmas house. I'm so sorry. She died for Christmas. She literally is a Christmas spirit. Oops. Oh, well, there she is. She's in a Christmas urn. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. Well, that's Christmas ruined. <laughs> Shall I put her on the mantelpiece? There we are. Thank you, Bella, for sacrificing yourself so I can make a Christmas house. Anyway, let's put that aside and just look at it again from the outside. So here we've got our extremely lavish, beautiful Christmas outside here, all around the house. This is our not so Christmas upstairs that I'm gonna do in a future video because it was way too much work even just to do this downstairs. I'm really happy with the way that it looked actually. Oh my God, the Grim Reaper's still in here. What is he doing? Is he reading a book in the house? Get out. Get out. Fuck off. Can we send him home? Oh, guys, they're crying on Christmas. I feel awful. <laughs> 
Oh well. We've got a Christmas lovely hallway here, lovely Christmas things here, and our lovely Christmas uh, kitchen, and our lovely Christmas bathroom. All right, let's leave this um, not so happy family here. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. All right then guys, that was it for today's video. So I really did not anticipate Belikov dying. <laughs> at least I have fun doing the build. I will build the upstairs at a later date in another video. If you do want to see me Christmasize anybody else's house in the Sims world, let me know and I will be doing that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I do upload videos two or three times a week, so make sure you subscribe for some more content. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.